All right, welcome back to What Gear Reviews for another top five favorite features final countdown on the Xperia XZ. And remember, a thumbs up and a subscribe will help me keep going with What Gear and get more hands on with more tech. Anyway, let's kick this video off. Start the countdown. Number five. Now, I had criticized the fingerprint sensor on the Xperia X in the past, as it was a bit hit and miss at times. So it seems Sony have now put their finger on the problem because the XZ very rarely misfires. I also like the positioning of the sensor and I would consider this now a fast fingerprint security feature and it's fantastic. Number four. Now a lot of high-end phones in the past and the present only have one speaker. And to be honest, I've never really felt the need to have stereo sound on a smartphone before. But I think now, with more and more people consuming more and more video content on their phones, why not have a more superior audio experience? And the Xperia XZ outputs up to 67 decibels. And I have to say it would be good if it went a little louder. Although, it definitely sounds good to me. And listen here real quick. Make sure you subscribe to What Gear for more and more video content like this in the future. Number three. Now the Sony PlayStation is the Godzilla of the gaming market, but is there a gaming Godzilla smartphone? Well, it could be the Xperia XZ at the time of this video. With the Snapdragon 820 and three gigabytes of RAM combined with the Adreno 530 processing chip, expect the XZ to handle well under pressure. Also, how many other phones can actually play a PS4 remotely over Wi-Fi? Now word on the street is he's got the minerals to be top dog down there. Intel's keeping an eye on him. And the bad news? And this feature, to me, is wow. Number two. So I went from using the Sony Xperia X to the Samsung Galaxy Note 7, which was the bomb, by the way, until it actually became a bomb and I had to give it back to Samsung. But anyway, what was really evident at that point was that the color gamut and strength seemed to look better on the Xperia X, which was a surprise. And the same applies to the Xperia XZ. And you might not believe me, so I suggest you should go and have a look for yourself. Sony certainly have earned their stripes when it comes to LED screen quality. Number one. So when it comes to cameras, you already know what we expect it to do. What do you expect me to do? Focus. And Sony have focused on the Xperia XZ's focus feature. Now I tested this phone against the Galaxy Note 7, which has the exact same cameras as the S7. And I think you might want to watch that. And if you do, hit the link in the top right corner. And if you do watch that, you can really see what I'm saying here. Anyway, Sony's 23 megapixel shooter is supported by the world's first triple sensing sensor setup. One for laser guided focus, one traditional Sony Exmor RS and a dedicated sensor to pick up colors. And on the flip side, its front facing wide angle 13 megapixel shooter obliterates almost all other phones in comparison. And it also works well in the dark, just like Batman. Holy crap, it's Batman! Here's a bonus 1.1. Sony's adaptive battery charging learns your charging patterns. It works out when you normally unplug the device and restricts charging to 90% until the last one inch. So you can sleep well knowing that your phone won't explode. So that's it for this What Gear Top 5 Favorite Features feature video. I could talk a whole lot more about this phone, but ain't nobody got time for that right now. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and you will be one of the finest subscribers known to man. And I really appreciate your support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So don't be late.